jeg står her ude for øh, Bruno, som jeg tror, tænker alle øh, københavnere. Everyone in Copenhagen has now heard that the team was founded in, in this place, uh, Bruno's. Um, and and who, who am I here with? Uh, Simon Hogg, I was the first sign-in for the Bruno's Magpies. And I'm Mick Embleton, I was the first manager coach in 2011. And I am Harry Perry, my nan and granddad and my brother started this football team and this was our family, well it still is our family bar. And how was the team founded? Well basically it was Louis's idea, his brother, uh, came in one night and said to me I'm going to start a football team. Uh, And I says, oh, that's good, yeah. And he says, I want you to be the manager. <laughs> and I was a bit stunned, but thinking it was a Sunday, Sunday league team. And eventually we were playing in a UEFA league. Uh, and the reason why I was called the Magpies and they played in black and white stripes is because I'm a Newcastle United supporter. And were you a football manager at the time? Not really. I just talked a good game. <laughs> Uh, but we used to do the trials on the beach in Spain and uh, we've got a team. The team was quite good. It's just we weren't very fit. If we'd had a good conditioning coach, we would have been a lot better. <laughs> and how did you manage to sign this guy? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't through a lack of uh, <laughs> options. Um, no, basically, um, I live below Louis um, and his grandparents and Louis essentially saw me come home from football training one night. I was playing for a different team in Jib at the time and he, he was just, oh, I want to come and play for this team. I was like, Louis, Jib, it doesn't work like that. And he got frustrated and essentially decided he was going to start his own team. And that was where obviously Mick was then recruited and then he was like, this is what's happening. We're, we're going to start a team. And I was a bit like, I didn't even know the guy at the time. He's obviously one of my best friends now, but it was like, okay. Let's, let's, let's do this kind of thing and it was uh, just an amazing experience really at the time and big big match tonight is the uh, you know unbelievable yeah what happened now suddenly you're part of the UEFA system and you're playing uh, Copenhagen <sighs> I mean well there's a lot of other a lot of other people that have taken the club I've done the first two years got it started named the team etc etc but there's a lot of guys that have contributed to the team to take them where they are now. Uh, David so Wilson. You, you, yeah, David the, the, Wilson. David Wilson. Jansen. Jansen. The new manager, Nathan. Uh, Mike Nichols. Mike, Mike Nichols from Mike Nichols the sponsors. To, yeah, so there's... Graham you know, Hewitt as well. He, yeah. he won't be happy if he doesn't get a shout-out. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't believe how it's gone. You know, I'm, I'm living back in Newcastle and the amount of people that send me stuff. I've told you about a very famous footballer that sent me a message <laughs> the other day. Uh, so it's it incredible. Handy. And can you tell me, how did your brother get the idea to start the football team or the club? Well, I don't think he could get a team at the time. He wasn't blessed like myself with football ability. Um, so I think he struggled to get a team. So luckily he had the family back in, so he had to start his own team. But yeah, we got him there in the end. We got him his first 90 minutes and he done well. He did do well. Um, but yeah, that, it's been a great experience. Um, To be fair to my brother, he has done very well starting it. He done well with it, and now we got Copenhagen. Bring on Co Copenhagen next week. <laughs> we we we'll fill up the uh, 40,000 stadium. <laughs> we bring the whole of Gibraltar, <laughs> yeah. and I still don't think we will fill up the nope. stadium. <laughs> and can you tell me what's going to happen tonight? Uh, tonight, you heard it here first. I think it will be a Bruno's first goal, but then Copenhagen will win. So I'm going Bruno's first goal, Copenhagen win. Mick, what's the odds on that? Well, I think personally, if uh, the, the the early kickoff helps Gibraltar, the heat. Uh, but apart from that, I can't see. You know, the difference in class is quite high. But if Gibraltar got a draw, oh, we'd be celebrating all night. And let me just hear. I know I, you shouldn't get into trouble by answer, answering this, but every everybody here is in the gaming industry, <laughs> uh, the betting industry, and how much. Have you guys uh, put on the, on the, ga the two games uh, coming up? Oh, I've got to be very careful <laughs> answering this. With his wife. <laughs> Your wife might, <laughs> might be watching as well. My boss is my <laughs> wife. Um, I've not had a bet yet, but I, I hope, I hope the the Magpies, you know, make themselves proud tonight. Basically, um, if we lose by a couple of goals, that would be a amazing achievement. And you know, if we've got anything 
to take to Denmark next week to hang on to, then, you know, that would be beyond probably any <laughs> realm of reality, but fingers crossed. I think, not, obviously, with Copenhagen, you can't expect to get a result, but normally Bruno's a big underdogs with the Irish teams with, with that, that normally we play. Mm. So last week, I believe, that, or the week before when we played them, they were 9-1, to one, was it, Hoggy? Yeah, exactly. bigger than that, yeah, And I, I had a £10 bet, but I cashed out at £70. So <laughs> I, I, I won £70. So <laughs> I think it's 60-1 to one tonight, isn't it? If Bruno's... So 65. 65. Game, I loved, yeah. So if we put a tenner on that, we will be partying all night. <laughs> But um, uh, a Bruno, a Bruno's first uh, goal, that's, uh, that you, that's realistic? Yeah, you know, you, uh, what said, Brian Clough said it only takes a second to score a goal. <laughs> Do you not remember San Marino against England? When was it? Yeah. Nine, 93, I think. Stuart, uh, yes. Seven seconds we conceded. It's, anything can happen in football. And it, I suppose, you know, that's, that's why everyone loves, loves the sport. And stories like this, I guess, is, you know... I love it. Just incredible, really. Hopefully, we can do ourselves proud this evening and take something to Denmark next week, where we will be having the time of our lives. I think it'll be incredible, amazing. And if any people in Denmark want to buy us drinks next week, they're more than welcome. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Will you go? I, I guess you've heard about Newhound, the, the the place to go for draft beer. All right, okay. Well, I'll definitely look it up. I'll, what, I'll it, tell you tonight. Carlsberg, Col- isn't it in it, it, yeah. in yeah, yeah. Denmark? We have Carlsberg on the shirt. We will be going to Denmark next weekend, uh, next Thursday, so any women who are interested, we will <laughs> gladly entertain. Okay? And I should also say we've got Unibet on the chest and Carlsberg on the arm, so I guess we're a team of your liking. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, 100%. Are Unibet yeah. here? Unibet, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Unibet are here. Colesburg. There's plenty of Carlsberg in Jib as well, so no, it's amazing. Hopefully... Hopefully the story can get even better this evening. Let's hope, let's hope it's 11 versus 11. There's no daft red cards or anything like that. <laughs> it's been an absolute ple- pleasure meeting you guys. Have a wonderful night. Not too wonderful though, but uh, have a great evening. Thank See you so guys. Much. Thank, Thank you. See you. Take care. See ya. Hi, I would like to show you Unibet's bet where you can combine a whole mass of wisdom on the same game or for higher odds. You can for example combine a home win with over 3,5 goals and all the teams hold scores. Du kan også tilføje målscore. Jørgen sparker under helt tredje. Sådan. Og husk, at hos Unibet får det højere odds. Programmet præsenteres i samarbejde med Pro Treatment. Fysioterapi, diagnostisering, behandling og træning.